Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crew YouTuber that's trying to be a long no by. And today I am here with a tag video and this tag I have made myself but I don't know, maybe there is some tag out there that has like similar questions or whatnot but um, these, this tag is a tag about eyeshadow palettes and about brands. And I have decided to call this the palette brand tag. The brand palette tag, palette brand tag. I have decided palette brand tag, palette tag, brands. It's a work in progress. You will have maybe a good title on this video. So yeah, these are 10 questions about palettes and about brands. So I think we're just going to hop into this and I will of course leave all the questions down in the description box if you want to do it. And if you decide to do this tag, please let me know because it's always so fun to see somebody do your tag. So I guess we're just going to hop into this. So the first question is the brand that you have the most palettes from. And I was like first, this is going to be, I know the answer, it's going to be Colourpop. And then I started to count my palettes and actually Colourpop wasn't that like alone in the top. But yeah, it's Colourpop that I have the most palettes from. I do have 15 palettes from Colourpop. And uh, I have had more. I have declared some palettes last year. But yeah, I do have 15 palettes from Colourpop and that is the brand that I have the most palettes from. The second place for me is Nabla and I counted it to be, I think I have 13 or 14 palettes from Nabla. But yeah, Colourpop is the brand that I have the most palettes from and it's 15. And do I love all my Colourpop palettes? No. Do I hate them? No. Do I need them? Not, not by far. But yeah, I do have 15 color palettes from Colourpop and that is the brand that I have my most eyeshadow palette from. The second question is the brand that I have the least palettes from and minimum free because I guess it's pretty normal to have like one palette or maybe two palettes from a brand. But yeah, I decided to take a minimum of three palettes and I think there's only one brand that I have three palettes from. I did check my drawers and it has to be Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have three eyeshadow palettes and that is Subculture, Prism and Soft Glam. I did have four at one point. I did also have the Modern Renaissance but I have decluttering that one because it wasn't for me. So yeah, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have three palettes and I think they are good. I do like all of them and Soft Glam is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. But... I don't think they are like super special. Like I remember when I tested my first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I was blown away. It was amazing. But now I also do have three palettes from Urban Decay as well. I must be, it must be three palettes. I have the Moon Dust, the Kaleidoscope Dream and the Gwen Stefani. So yeah, Anastasia and Urban Decay. And I love that it's two more high-end brands and that was really, really hyped a while back. So yeah, Urban Decay as well, because I, I did have more Urban Decay palettes before, but I have Declutter or my Naked palettes. So yeah, Urban Decay and um, Anastasia. Question number three is the brand that you wish you had more palettes from. And I am going to say BH Cosmetics and I know that like BH Cosmetics they was bought up by Revolution and yada yada but they are going to be like BH Cosmetics within Revolution what I have understand and I do really wish that I have tried some more palettes. I've only tried the Sweet Shop palettes which I do love. I think they are really really good. But I wish that I had more. I wish that I've tried some of their... Do you remember like the blueberry muffin and the avocado toast that was so so popular? Especially the blueberry muffin. Have been so close to buy that many many times. And also their travel palettes like Lost in Los Angeles. Was it named that way? 
but I have heard so much good things about Beach Cosmetics and they aren't like expensive, they are a drugstore brand and I so so wished that I've tried more from Beach Cosmetics because I have only, as I said, tried the Sweet Shop palettes and I think it just would have been fun to try some more not only like a special collection Question number four is the brand that I think has the best color story and I think I have to say Shroud This was really really hard and I don't know why I did take this question but Shroud is something special to me, I do really love Shroud I think that they go good with my aesthetics and they have amazing palettes and it's not often that I think they do a bad color story. The Divinity palette isn't maybe my favorite but all the other palettes that I've seen from Shroud and that I have tried I do really love and I think I like Shroud is one of the brands that I'm always so so excited about when they are releasing something new and Shroud is yeah really special for me. The, one of the shimmers I have on my eyes today is from Shroud that is though a single shade but yeah I always think that Shroud does really good palettes I think both the color story and the packaging and everything so yeah Shroud is the brand that I think do one of the best color stories I think if I would have done this tag a year ago maybe a little more I think I would have said Kaleidos but I think that Kaleidos isn't that fun that they were before like with the first uh, Futurism palettes and the Escape Pod and the collab palette with Anilka Nyqvist mm, but yeah I would say Shroud I think they still keep up they haven't that many palettes though but I think they're still keeping up with the statics and Everything, I, I just like everything about it. Question number five. The palette you always wanted to buy but haven't bought. And there is a palette that I have talked about in every like wish video, wish list video. And that I have talked about that I want to buy. And that is the Urban Myth from Black Moon Cosmetics. But I actually don't know why. I do have the Orb of Light from Black Moon Cosmetics that I think it's it's okay but it's not a palette that I use that much but that Urban Myth palette it has something about it and I don't know how many times I have been on Black Moon Cosmetics website I put it in my cart I have been staring at my cart and like it's adding up all of the shipping and customs and everything and I'm like no this is too expensive and then it's like a Black Friday I do the same thing over again and like I don't know if it's worth it but yeah I, I've been so close so many times but I haven't pulled the trigger and I guess I'm never going to do that but it's just something about the palette the palette has the thing that I really really love it has one shimmer and one matte in the same color I love that about palettes. That is the thing that I do really love. And I've been so, so close. So close so many times, but I haven't bought it. And I guess I will I will never do it because I haven't done it yet. So it will never be mine. But I, I always feel a bit happy when I see it. Even though I, I haven't heard like that it's super amazing actually. So I don't buy, know why, but it's something special about it. Question number six is the series you want with palettes and what brand? And here I'm actually going to say Menagerie and I would want them, I want them to do like a mini series. I know that they had, was it three mini palettes at the point? Uh, I think they might still have one or have they had four? But I would love if they would take their bigger palettes and do them as minis. I know that you can buy singles from Shroud, no, Shroud Menorri, I know that, but I just would love if they would pick the most fun colors from each of the palettes and do a mini palette. 
because I know me like with I know Killer Perv that they, they are going to do a new version of it they are going to redo it and I don't get that I just think come out with a mini palette instead with the colors that you want to put in the, the killer pearl because I know they did the same thing with the feral palette because it was two shades in that one that people didn't like so they redid the whole palette like they, did, they changed out these two shades and I don't get why I think they would have done a mini feral instead so people isn't like buying then you don't need to buy maybe the big palette if you just want some few shades of it and I I think that I would buy that. I would buy mini palettes from Menagerie if they could like take the best out of palettes and put it in a small palette. I would love that. Question number seven is a palette that you want to love but you don't and I have done a whole video uh, about palettes that I thought I was going to love and there is a palette in my collection that I really 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 want to love but I don't do it and the reason why I want to love it is because it's the most expensive palette that I've ever bought and that is the Retro from Natasha Denona. It is something about the Natasha Denona formula that isn't vibing with me. I guess I had pretty high expectations because people do rave about it and people did especially rave about the retro palette. I bought it as my first Natasha Denona palette. No, okay, that isn't correct because I had a mean love palette which I didn't like but people did rave or still do rave about the retro palette. I bought it, I tried it and I was like I don't get it. I don't get why this is so hyped. I know it's not my typical color story, but like the formal of it, it's not bad. But it's not worth the money. It, I just don't know the hype of Natasha Nona. I've also had a bloom palette, you know, the face squad. I didn't get the hype there either. I just don't get the hype with Natasha Denona and I don't know why I'm trying to get it but yeah I don't know but I do really 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 want to love the retro palette because I did spend my money on it but I just don't I, I don't know it's a good it's an okay palette but it's nothing special for me and question number eight a palette you love but didn't think you would love <laughs> this palette I've talked about so much but it is okay there's maybe more than one in my collection i have done a video about this one as well i can leave it up here but i think i'm going to go with the tinkerbell or sprinkle a little bit of magic from colourpop uh, the tinker bitch and the colourpop palette when I first heard about it, I was like, it's going to be an awful palette. It's going to be so dull. It's going to be... Ugh. I saw pictures on it and I was like, that is looking pretty good, actually. So I bought it. And it is one of my favorite Colourpop palettes. I don't know how that happened, but it is really, really good. It is... I don't think it represents Tinker Bitch at all. But it's a really good palette. I can maybe show you the palette. If you haven't seen it, it looks like this. I just think it has something deeper and darker about it that I don't like think that Tinker Bell is. So I didn't thought that I was going to love this and I thought it looked even better in person and like using the shades and it looks really really good and I always get looks out of it that I do really really love. Question number nine. A palette do you wish had a second part? And here I'm going to go with the Arcana palette from Shroud. I know, I'm talking a lot about Shroud. Uh, they did, it must have been this year? that they did creepy cute too and i just wish that they would come out with the arcana too if you don't know the arcana looks 
like this. This is one of my favorite palettes. I love the grunchiness of this. I love that it's a matte and the shimmer that goes really good together. But I wish that they would do a second one and maybe a little bit lighter one. Like a mix of this one and it creepy cute. I think that that would have looked really, really good. And I think that people... Because I know that this palette might be a little bit hard to work with because it is that dark. So if they would done like, maybe not a happier, but maybe a little bit happier and a little bit lighter version of this, I would buy it in a heartbeat. And uh, I think that also people that want to love their Arcana but think it is a little bit hard to work with, that would also buy it. And the last question, question number 10 is, have you ever decluttered palette that you do regret? And if I'm going to be honest, I haven't decluttered that many palettes. So, no. Okay, that is a lie of decluttering about 50 of them. But uh, no, there haven't been a palette so far that I regret decluttering for my collection. I do have decluttered some palettes that has been super famous for me. I One of the hardest one for me was to decluttering the Naked 2 from Urban Decay because I have so special memories. It was my first high-end eyeshadow palette that I bought. I bought it on my me and my boyfriend's first trip to London. It was our first flight we ever took. We have been outside of Sweden because we have been to Denmark but like I don't see Denmark as uh, another country because Denmark is really close to where I live. Um, so yeah, I had really special memories with that one and it was kind of hard to decluttering that one. I did save it from like two declutterings before I actually did declutter it, but I don't regret it. I do still have memories from our trip to London even though I don't have the palette and I do still remember how happy I was. So I think that might would have been the only palette that I could have regret, but I don't. I don't want it in my collection. So I, so far, I haven't regret anything that I declare. And it was like a year ago since I did my eyeshadow palette collection and the clutter, and um, I still don't miss any of them. So I guess that is. A no for me. So yeah, that was all for this tag video. I do really hope that you liked this video and if you want to do this tag I will leave all the questions down in the description. So I hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!